Now whether we're going to do cross drilling like we're going to do here or whether we're going to do face drilling which would be drilled holes on some face of the part, the selection method is identical. I can either pick these by the arcs as you would on any milling operation, picking the arcs by size or by color, but the easiest way is to pick them by point. I'm going to do a window and it's going to look for all the points that are in that window. Now you have to be careful because when you're doing some of your other functions like um, your, your roughing tool pass and things like that, you will get extra points. There's a point here that's on the front nose and there's a point here which was the starting point for the roughing tool path. So you have to make sure that when you put your window around this stuff that you're not getting one of these points. So in some cases you might want to turn it to an angle like this so when you put a window around these locations you only get the ones you want. So let's take a look at that toolpath. It's pretty simple. We go to toolpaths, c-axis, and we're going to do cross drill. It asks us to select the points, so the default is to select individual locations just by picking with our mouse, but what I want to do is grab these with a window. So I'm going to say window points is my selection method, and I'm just going to put a window around all of this. It's going to find all the points that were in that window. It says here it found eight points. And we'll just say OK. Now by the same token, I could have said mask on arc, and I could have picked the size of the arc that I was looking for, and then put a window around it and it would have only found the arcs of that size in the window. But we're good with our eight points, so we're going to say OK. Now we're going to go select our tool. I'm going to say select from library. Again, um, with your filter active, you can select filter and tell it you want to see none except drills. And then just go down to the size that you want. So I'm going to grab a 3 8 drill. In this case, it adds a comment for you already. You can add to that or modify that as you like. We'll go to our cut parameters. It's going to do a peck drilling operation. Um, it's already defined the amount per peck. For our linking parameters, these as a default will be set incrementally which is usually how you want to do it. They're going to be incremental in reference to the point, which is the outside diameter that you're drilling. So when I set my clearance to a half inch, I know it's going to be a half inch outside the diameter. A retractive point one is a hundred thousandths off the outer diameter. I don't have to worry about an absolute coordinate equal to the radius of the part plus a hundred thousandths clearance. So this is a lot easier to deal with being incremental. And now for my depth, I'm just going to say minus one inch. That's about all we need. We're going to say OK. And we have all of our drill locations now. If we want to see what that's going to look like, we can select just that one operation and go to verify. And now we'll hit machine. And that's pretty much all there is to C-axis cross-drilling.